three stars. The bag was heavy. I gave it three stars because when I put things in it, it became heavy. Try explaining that one, atheists. Meanwhile, in the land of owners humanizing their pets to the point of concern, five stars. Beautiful. They looked absolutely fabulous in their new luscious locks. I don't, like, how do you keep them on them? Oh, I see. You just have to cut off their ears. Okay. Make up your mind, Suze. Five star from Susie Q. I love this windbreaker, especially the color. Hey, guys, look. We got a five star review. Oh, they love it. Here they they love us. Yeah, hey, guys. Oh. Hey, self-esteem is back. Hey, okay, boss, they wrote a description as well. Oh, boy, let's read it. I didn't like anything about the windbreaker. Oh. Jonathan, 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 listen to me. You must not tell anyone they this. Like Don't it. let them see that review, they okay? Like it will destroy them. Like Joanna it. just got her self-esteem back. A competitor created several different accounts to manipulate questions on this listing. I told Amazon and they could not have cared less. Wow, I didn't realize Amazon's marketplace was like a wild, wild west. Imagine looking into a futon mattress and these are the questions you come across. Has this futon mattress been tested in accordance with the US regulations? No. This futon mattress has not been tested in accordance with the following regulations. Okay, now switch accounts. What is the problem due to the regulations? <clears throat> uh, this item is not allowed to sell in the US. Please exercise caution when using the futon. Okay, costume change. Does this product comply with California Proposition 65? Ooh, it is unclear whether chemicals have been used in the manufacturer of this product. So no good. Any other issue with this futon mattress? The futon mattress also does not comply with 16 CFR 1633 labeling standards. I highly recommend getting this one from this part of the marketplace, which is totally not... I don't own that business. I just... You know, I've bought them a few times to sell them later on. A glowing review for foot deodorizer. Here's the product. No, this is not a sponsorship. Oh, man, imagine this being a sponsorship. Uh, but after this review, you, you might think it is. Usually we just get maybe one or two sentences for a review. Uh, you ready for this one? Bam. Like, is this a review or a Reddit post? Saved my job and Mariagi. This product works. Throughout my life, I have been stricken with sweaty feet. I hear that is one in 100 million people that have this. That fact was pulled out of thin air, so don't believe it. However, this product works amazingly. When I say that it saved my job, I mean it. My shoes smelled so bad that at multiple points throughout the days, I would check to see if I had stepped in some sort of excrement or perhaps stepped on a dead fish. I entered into the office and was asked by more than one person if I had passed gas. I said I had not and became very self-conscious. I even nonchalantly made my way into the restroom to check to see if I had soiled myself or perhaps did not clean properly after using the facilities upon returning from having Taco Bell for lunch. My supervisor stated that if he found out who kept passing gas, he would fire them. What? They can't do that. Yeah, you don't have grounds to fire someone if they're gassy. Yeah, they'd explode. What? No. That's attempted murder. No, what? Apparently, I had become nose blind after a while. I would take my shoes off and place them in the water closet so I that I would have easier access to them in the morning? Sorry, just wrapping my head around a water closet. Oh, it's just a, a spare bathroom. Okay. Water closet? What the f- this so, what? Sorry, maybe it's my Australian tendency to make things as simple to say as possible, but just say toilet. Come on, British people. And Americans who still have British habits. Anyway, I would take off my shoes and place them in the toilets. Oh, okay, yeah, that doesn't sound as right. Fine, I guess water closet makes sense. Anyway! My wife, I found out, was being very kind to me and not mentioning the smell that had spawned from the pit of Hades every evening after I would take my shoes off. By the grace of the Lord Almighty, my nostrils were opened up and I got a whiff of the otherworldly scent that was emanating from my shoes. I didn't have my phone with me in the water closet, and I did not have a shampoo bottle to read to pass the time, so I grabbed one of my shoes and smelled it. 
Let me just say that I'm glad I was sitting down because it was so bad that it literally scared the you know what out of me. I kind of admire the people who make their reviews a creative story essay. Like, good on you. I'm glad you found a way to give out some creative output in your life. I went to my wife, as all good husbands would do, and asked her to smell this, meaning the shoe. She said that she would absolutely not smell it because she has been smelling it for some time now and it's outright disgusting. She said that it had gotten so bad she was considering moving in with her parents. We discussed what could be done and I even looked into simply replacing the shoes because I was certain mold and bacteria were growing inside. I did a little research and even attempted to look up home remedies. But lo and behold, the people in dark suits that monitor everything that is being said or searched sent me an amazingly perfect targeted advertisement for this odor spray. It arrived within a couple of days and I was excited to try it out. I got home from work and immediately took off my shoeies and took a big old whiff. <laughs> Ah, smelled horrific, and just like regurgitated dead muskrat, shook up the bottle and sprayed about a second's worth onto each shoe. The odor, not even remotely joking, was instantly gone. Got up the next morning, sprayed about one second in each shoe, and went about my day. My day was normal, super sweaty from head to toe, but I was excited to smell my shoes when I got home. <laughs> Oh, the human experience is a, it's a real RNG of life. Took off my shoes when I got home and no odor. I even convinced my wife to smell my shoes. She was shocked at how much they did not smell like pure sin. I cannot recommend this product enough. It simply works. Five star. Daddy uh, loves it. Mm -hmm. I got this for my brother-in-law. Wait, what? Hang on, no, hang on, no, let's, wait, let's look at the image first, like, what it is they're talking about. So, this, a fancy water bottle that actually hides your beer cans so you can be an alcoholic in public and not feel bad about it. And brother-in-law, also daddy, uh, got this as a gift, and he's diabetic, always gets caught drinking at work, and he can't have a Red Bull, so now, with this product, it looks like he's drinking water, but he's really getting hammered off on Trulies, and now he can drink his Red Bulls in peace, too. This is by far the greatest gift he He's gotten. I'll be ordering a few more for a group of officers soon. Highly recommend getting yourself one. Just encouraging your diabetic family member that you call daddy. <laughs> to further get hammered and become unprofessional in the workplace. Wow, that's... Man, you, you some real supportive friends and family network you've got going on. Was browsing on Amazon and found this review. One star falls apart. My six-year-old son easily took it apart and got to the Viagra. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, seems to be a common theme with this product. Person below thinks they should have got a Lego set instead. It would have been more, I guess, durable. Incredible. We'll heed your warnings, Dwidi Meinhofnachfon. This book is blasphemy. One star. I hope whoever wrote this dies. This book is blasphemy. It speaks ill of the Lord. I will use my magical powers to ensure that Sir Philip Sidney is killed. Hmm, a Christian using magical powers. I thought the uh, stuff like that was considered sinful. Witchcraft. Which side are you on here, huh? Pick a lane, bro. Quit fence-sitting on what class you want to be like me when I play Baldur's Gate 3. Yes, I can't pick. There's so many to choose from. Sherry doesn't understand arithmetic. Returns life jacket. One star. Look at the weight! I read the reviews and thought this would be awesome for my husband, who is a larger man. 220 pounds. So I ordered the oversized one. It fit him just fine. But then we started reading what is written inside the jacket. It is for someone under 90. Pounds. That means that anyone who was over 90 pounds, this would not hold up in water. Why would they make such a large one that won't even hold a large man's weight? At this point in the life RPG, Sherry has a chance to maybe roll the dice to ponder if maybe she's in the wrong here. Maybe it isn't the company that's already successfully making these things and has never had this issue come up before. Come on, Sherry, an intelligence check of two. Ooh, a natural one. I'm sending mine back and getting a good one. One that will prevent a drowning, not let it happen. This is misadvertised. It should be stated how such a person can weigh and still be buoyant in the life jacket. This one's insane. A charger caused a fire. One star caused a house fire. 
picks the receipts right there. Don't know why he's got his mates to dress up in Ghostbuster costumes, though. That's kind of silly. This product caused a house fire while charging a LiPo battery. It appears that it caused the battery to catch fire and partially destroyed my home. I recommend not to buy the product, and if you do own one, stop using it. The photos are after the fire and the other of what is left of the charger. The battery next to it is identical to the one that was being charged. This battery was charged previously. Man, I wish he was more infuriated when he typed this review because there then would have been like a slight chance that he would have forgotten to type the not between to and recommend. Just a funny little irony he would have missed due to the blindness of his blood covered eyes. Four stars, good product, bad wife. Mm -hmm. I bought this for my wife thinking it would make her shaving life easier. Turns out gents that this can also be seen as an insult. I was awoken at two in the morning with horrendous pain on my left leg. I attempted to rise with a yell and startled confusion, but was pressed back into the bed by a heavy weight suddenly placed upon my body. The pain and subsequent squealing continued for several minutes as I attempted to dislodge the weight from my back and thus put an end to the fiery pain. Through the gloom, I heard giggling and turned my head and glimpsed my wife, grinning down on me maliciously. She then calmly asked if I was in charge enjoying the experience. I unashamedly admit I was whimpering by this point as several minutes of plucking torture will, I assure you, reduce anyone to a quivering mess. Whilst what I can only describe as a sadistic attempt to remove the entirety of my hair from my left extremity. <laughs> Thankfully, my darling wife decided that the left calf was enough and left me alone with my now very bald and sore leg. Needless to say, I slept not a wink for the rest of the night for fear of a second attack. It works. My God, it works. But in the name of all that's holy, gentlemen, don't give it as a present. I love my watercolors made out of children. Four stars. The watercolor paints received appear to be like any inexpensive made of children watercolors. I do not expect them to have the quality of more expensive paints, but I do hope the children who receive them will enjoy them. It's like watching chicken eat nuggets. Now this is a review on a piano chord book that came with something extra. Sticky used book with human hair attached. I'm sure the stickiness is something rather innocent, but uh, you don't want to risk it, you know? Gross. Receive this used from the vendor, not new. It looked like small hairs attached to the cover with splattering of something on the front that still looked wet or sticky. Literally pulled out of the package for two seconds, put right back in and will return. Never had this happen with any purchase before. An image is worth a thousand words. What you hoped to get. A lot large cat bag. No, sir, is that a bag or is that a child's costume? what you get? Oh, look, you get my face when I saw this product. I j there's, there's something uncomfortable about that cat's pose. It... No, no, it looks like it's from a zoo in China. Five stars. A true force of chaos. I bought these as a joke because they were cheap, but I quickly realized I had no idea what to do with them. Eventually, I got an amazing idea. I want these banned from my school. <laughs> I love this path of logic. Hmm, I don't know what to do with these things. <gasps> I know, I'll inflict chaos. I handed them out to my friends, spanning several grades, and soon you could randomly hear kazoo noises throughout campus. They have not yet been banned, but I plan to buy more and continue distributing them, possibly selling them for an income to continue buying more. The teachers all hate them. A lot of students hate them. All is going to plan. Sounds about right. Vlazon women's plush robe, warm winter ba from Christopher, five stars. She loved it. Oh, that's great, Christopher. Then a week later, she left me and took it with her. Oh, um, have a discount. Gotta love the translated to English Amazon IP reviews. Four star. Sound quality is poor for priority, but I'm generally satisfied. Okay, that I, I can sort of figure out what they're implying there. Five star. It's too erotic. It's making a sound and that's a lot of noise. I mean, pervert. Review for a rugged laptop. One star. A total piece of shit. I use this item every day at work. If they could improve it quite a bit, it might achieve a utility 
utility level of useless. The only thing it is good for is to bludgeon a zombie to keep it from eating your brains, unless by doing so you would have to continue using it. In that case, it would be less painful to just let the zombie eat you. It takes over 10 minutes just to load Windows. I wouldn't have one of these if they paid me the $445 price. If there was a way to give it negative stars, I would. Buy anything else. Do without. Anything is better than this thing. Very, um, informative Q&A response for an electrolyte powder. Question, doesn't anyone care how much liquid each packet makes? Seems like that is kind of vital information. I'm gonna be real here. I think this person who's answering it made this question themselves just so they could answer it. Answer, it clearly says that each packet is a 20 ounce bottle, so it must be 12 boxes of 10 packets each. That's 25 cents for a 20 ounce bottle. I always compare by 32 ounce bottles, which converted would be 40 cents for a 32 ounce bottle. I buy the 0 12 pack 20 ounce bottles. At $7.30, the only one on prime pricing, it's still just over 97 cents converted to 32 ounces. You're getting exactly two and a half times as many bottles for the same price as the bottle zero, which is 15 pounds just for one 12 pack of 30 ounce bottles. Always ship two in each box. It's a 30 pound box. I'm disabled and my drivers bring them inside for me. Like ordering a five gallon of bottled water for my cooler. 40 pounds bottle, two bottles minimum. The professional drivers have no problem. The Amazon drivers usually can't handle the 30 pound boxes. I spoke at Amazon Logistics given all of my delivery issues. They'll pack up to 60 pounds in one box. What percentage of their drivers can't get up the business? <laughs> Sorry for getting off topic. I scroll through the picks. Each packet is a 20 ounce bottle, which I have about 100 empty ones once I drink them all. The savings alone is a no brainer. 25 cents for a 20 ounce bottle versus just over 60 cents for a 20 ounce liquid bottle. Less than half the price. Oh no. This person ordered a bunch of blind bags and thought there wouldn't be duplicates. Uh, do, uh, do, how, do, do you not know how blind bags work? Oh, and it's not a complete set. I got three recons and two Anubis instead of the Grunt, Sentinel, and Marine. It's unacceptable for this price. Ten times funnier if you get the Midnight Gospel reference with Prince Jamro. Well, anyone who knows what the hell they're talking about, this one's for you. Fun you experience, but it hurts on my ass. I like the bike, but the seat hurts on my ass. <laughs> What? I decided to buy another bike seat that's wider, so it doesn't hurt to my ass <laughs> so much. <laughs> I don't know this reference, but I'm already loving it. Hopefully it doesn't mess with the ride experience to have a wider seat, but I can't be riding this thing an hour a day with my ass being so hurt so much. <laughs> Four star. Wife boot like. I not like boot. I think ugly boot. I say boot not good for pull wagon in mud and snow. Wife say no care her lady friend like. My wife like when lady friend like? Five star, they punch holes. Whenever my hands are not too shaky from delirium treatments, or my aim isn't complete garbage because I'm too drunk and I manage to hit something, those pellets punch holes in things. Given most of the things I shoot are empty cans of beers and they're not exactly thick, I also like the crunching sounds it makes on the aluminium. Kinda reminds me of my ex's laugh. After seeing the damage the pellets done to the new PBR can strewn across my backyard, my neighbor asked me to be careful not to shoot his cat. That or he was scared I might shoot it by accident, given I can't hit a damned thing. Man, Gandhi's really gone off the rails, hasn't he? Review for a lint roller. Five star. Keeps the wife clean. No, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I'm not a misogynist. No, no, wait, wait, wait. My wife has like 30 stupid rabbits. These keep her rabbit hair free. They work, but I'd rather we just eat all of the rabbits. <laughs> I don't doubt this woman considers the rabbits her children, so... <laughs> Dude's basically asking to eat the kids. Not sure if this is funny or depressing, but this was not the image I expected after reading the review. Okay, we're gonna zoom in onto the review first. Very sexy. This nightie is very lovely, and it is really nice, bright, and deep colors. It is super soft and silky. It is extremely pretty and very well made, and my wife looks super sexy in it, and she loves how it feels and feels it's with her when she wears it. Oh, just love how sexy she looks in it. Wow, that wife sounds super sexy. Let's check her out. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> also, side note, is, is your favorite color beige? Because everything is beige. I guess this product didn't have real reviews after all. To our most valuable customer. Thank you for choosing our product, Pat Plus Teeth Whitening Powder on Amazon. We hope it serves you as you expect. Hey, by the way, if you like it, give us a five-star review. And if you do so, we, you know, just, just as appreciation, we'll give you 15 bucks for you giving us a five-star review. No, we don't want honest. We just want the five stars. From Cho. Good for hoof of yak. I get brush. New baby. Get dirt finger crawling on ground. Baby cry. Not like brush on finger. Baby finger red and scratched finger brush after. I say brush not good. Wife say brush. Use yak hoof. 
I brush yak hoof good with brush. Baby clean finger, no, but yak good hoof. One star. Shoulder straps are so tiny. I have literally never written a review before, but I am so bummed about these bras. These are my favorite reviews because it comes from passion. The product influenced them in such a way it changed their, like, life schedule to go out of their way to warn the public. I've had these bras many times before, usually from Walmart. With COVID in mind and having little ones to care for, I'm doing most of my shopping online. Look, maybe I got a pair of duds, or I don't know. I ordered my size, 40D, per usual, but the adjustable arm straps, even when fully extended to loosen them, are ridiculously short and have very little give, if any, at all. I could barely even get it up to my shoulder, and even then, there's no way I could make these work. And I have normal-sized arms. That's exactly what a non-human would say. I will be returning these and hoping I can find something of better quality. It's such a bummer, because these are amazingly comfy, soft, and perfect every day around the house bras. So here's my mug, forever on the interweb, sigh. Hopefully y'all can see from the picture how small these were. And yes, both bras from the package were the same. The strap here is fully loosened. It sounds like the company considered 40D as just the size of the boobs and not the size of the, you know, upper body. But of course, everyone knows women don't have backs or shoulder blades. Four stars, on the small side. I had a read in another review the shirt runs a little small, so I actually ordered a size up. They are still more snug than I am typically comfortable with. I understand it is supposed to be fitted, but these definitely do not feel true to size for me. They are not so small that I'm going to return them, but if you're considering these, definitely order at least one size up unless you want them painted on. And then, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, uh, two weeks into the future. Oh, it runs a little large. <laughs> oh, Brick, if only you waited until December 22nd to order these shirts, you would have known. You would have been warned. That or within the 11 days, the manufacturer, like, actually changed their sizing to better fit to people, like, what they were needing. And then <laughs> Jess comes along and, oh, it's still not good enough. I use it to test my steel toe boots. Five star, would recommend. This is a really nice concrete block. It lives up to expectations. For example, if you drop it on your foot from, say, waist high, and you're not wearing shoes, it really, really hurts, as you would expect. I understand there are other uses for this block, but I haven't found any. Please come back soon and check out my review of a bag of sand and a nail. Exciting stuff, this. <laughs> Becky and Dwayne both looked. Not Mark Twain. Five stars. A full set under $30. Can this be true? A set of taps and dies my father-in-law, 96-year-old, has said he brought from Arkansas when he came to live with us, has vanished. He has gone around and looked for them three or four times to no avail. Each time I look, each time Becky looks, each time Dwayne looks, and this time even Philip looked. No set! For gosh sake, it ain't here! So what do I do? I find fire up Amazon, and lo and behold, this set appears. All the sizes he can ever use and cost me a saw buck. Uh, for, for you under 50, that's $20. I don't know where I could get such a relief from something that cheap. If you need one, just hit the button and it'll be on the way. You can just tell this is going to be the story this man talks about for the rest of his life. Those family barbecues are going to get really tedious for the next two weeks. Uh, question everyone, how far apart are the dip handles? Uh, I'm Jackson and I can help you out with that. The answer is seven watts. Seven watts. Seven. Uh, inches? Seven. Me centimeters? Seven. Uh -huh. Hi, Amazon customer here. Let me help you out. It is as far as shoulder width. Oh, thank you, Amazon customer. You've really specified using a tool of measurement that is a growing human body. Zydot Ultra Clean Detox Shampoo Kit for Detox. One star. Gave me a lot of time to reflect. Too much time. Well, it's been just over 11 months and 29 days since I used this, and man, is it great to be free again. I'm, I'm going to need someone to provide context to this. Did, was this person in jail? Shark costume. Five stars. Cute. My cat died before he could use it, and no, we didn't put it on him. <laughs> okay, cute. A review for a shirt. <laughs> Wait, what is... Oh my god, you're doing what the Instagrammers do where they just show like 30% of what they're actually talking about and the rest is just them. Five star. Wow. Affordable, comfortable, and fits decently. I am impressed. I am literally ordering four more right now. This is me when I'm ordering. <clears throat> <laughs> Not quite how it is measured, but okay. Three stars. This isn't 55 inches. It's only 48 inches. 
See, I even took a photo because I'm so confident. Oh, no. Come on, buddy. Another intelligence check. This one is a one. Got to be the one. Just a one. Zero. How did you get zero? There are 20 sides on the dot. There's no zero. This is a good deal on a 48-inch TV. And 48 inches isn't small. Whatever your wife tells you. If I had no TV and was buying my first TV, I wouldn't be too unhappy about it. However, I was specifically buying this to replace a 43-inch TV that looked annoyingly sized on my new furniture after I moved and ended up only being what, five inches bigger? That is not worth it. I can't believe it's legal to just flagrantly lie about something as objective and measurable as screen size. Oh, what's worse is 37 people found this helpful. As in, they they agreed with this despite the image. They, they likely measured the same way too. Oh no. I was looking at reviews for a slow feeder on Amazon. <laughs> but oh, the cat. Very satisfied with himself. One star. My cat flipped it in 30 seconds. My cat is 17 pounds and needs to reduce. He flipped this in less than a minute. I don't think this is a flaw in the design. He's just a really strong cat trying to get his food. Look, at least you admit your cat is a tank. Uh, I don't think that's what they meant. Question. Is this product cruelty free? Well, it hasn't hurt me yet. It smells good though. Ah, a pile of lint or something? Wait, one star. Didn't work for my cat. I gave this dewormer to my cat and I followed the instructions. Oh, oh no, I thought it worked, but after a month that I medicated it to her, I noticed she was throwing up with worms. It was so gross. Oh, that's this vomit, this cat vomit I'm looking at. Wait, isn't that technically working then? If it's deworming them? Is, is, is that... I, I don't know about cats and medicine. That would someone help me out. Dunko. White 88740 Fawcett Sprayhead. Five stars from Christopher. Gets me so wet. Every time I get in a water fight with the family. Oh, never mind. <laughs> At our house in Alabama. Octagon metal size set. Sharp. Five star. Don't use on humans. They are not very sharp, but you can accidentally stab a guy in a bar. They should be considered an almost deadly weapon. There was blood everywhere. When they called the police, they refused to believe that there were so many victims. <laughs> Keep out of the hands of people that are untrained. More importantly, why are you walking into a bar with these? From God's Lack. Five star. Simple lockbox. I know this is a document's lockbox, but I am currently using it as a safe for my snacks because my sorry excuse of a brother keeps eating my Pop-Tarts. As you can see in one of the pictures here, that's my last remaining Pop-Tart from the three boxes I bought for myself and some eh, ate nearly all of it. The box has a good weight, two keys for you to use it on, and locks up pretty nice and easy. Does what it does, and I can't complain because now I have a good sized lockbox to stash my snacks, and now a hole will get to them. So this would be great for those who just want to keep things of interest out of reach from sticky hands. Things like this make me really happy. I had a healthy relationship with my sister as a sibling growing up. All she did, I kid you not, was push me into a lake when I was five to see what would happen. Hey, it's Cho without the D-E. Wife learn fast, tell time. Watch make wife know, tell time. Wife know late, dinner make. I use stick, tell time, learn also. Wife learn fast, tell time with stick. Wait, what's the stick got to do with a watch? I, mm hmm what? This is a question on a pizza baking stone. I'm just as confused as you are. Question, is this bird safe? Answer. I, I wouldn't recommend it for birds. It makes pizza better, but it's up to you what you cook. Five star. It's giving glam dog. My mom buys me a lot of colors. I mean, a lot. But this is one of my faves. Oh. Oh, that that's the actual dog owner just talking as if they're the dog. Okay. It's giving springtime. It's giving Easter Sunday. It's giving sidewalk model. Okay, they're clearly a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race as well. Mommy said I look like a glamour girl, and that's the way we both like it. Get it? Love, Lulu. Kind of wish they said, absolutely not. It threw out all of my husband's clothes. Question. Are luggage sets these for men? Answer. Not sure why they wouldn't be for men. I'm pretty sure the luggage didn't know whether I, a woman, was wheeling it or if my husband... A man was. We both put our clothing in it, and the suitcase didn't toss them out, so I think we're good on it being for men or women. Review of Samsung Smart Tag for Android. Four star, which I mean technically means that it's a good product still, despite them saying, nope. Doesn't work with iPhone. Returned. Oh, chill, mate. It's not a Pokemon. AirPods. Very nice. Bought this for my boyfriend. He broke up with me right after. Said it was really good quality, though. <laughs> Oh, to give it a redemption arc. Edit. I've taken them back from him. Yay! Bought stool to pee in sink. <gasps> 
Tested at number 285? It is small yet sturdy. Didn't want anything overly tall, which might be less stable. Or wide, which might not support heavy weights. Only needed it to be tall enough to get my below the belt line over the kitchen sink for when the bathroom was occupied longer than acceptable. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, the kitchen. Oh. The tangent to a totally unrelated product is longer than the review itself. Brought this as a replacement for the Manzana air conditioner, which broke in three days, although only one day usage. The company refunded me, but was not interested in the fact my house would have been set on fire had I remotely activated this unit and had not been at home to spell burning. I gave them the opportunity to send a replacement product. <gasps> For free, which I would test for a week and then send back so I could leave a fair review again. Company wasn't interested. The Nike was held up well and is a much nicer unit. The swing function is manual, which is annoying, but the other than that, a great unit. I will update in six months or if it breaks. Use with caution! Whatever amount of this tape you're about to use, it's too much! Unless it's something you never want to come off for the rest of eternity. If you've got a mummy's tomb to seal, this is the tape you want for the job! If there's an earthquake and California is about to fall into the Pacific Ocean, the government had better use this stuff to keep it in place. Place. Had Abraham Lincoln had this tape in 1860, the South would not have been able to secede. <laughs> this stuff is so strong, it transcends the physical realm. It will keep your relationship together. If your boyfriend is about to leave you, just take this out of the drawer and show it to him. You don't even need to apply it. Its power is so strong, he will be unable to leave you. This tape creates a bond that cannot be broken. Use with caution. Homebox 100% blackout roller window shades. Question, I want to order eight shades. Answer, then order eight. Crab witches! I have a theory. So these stick together. No one knows how it works. It's one of those mysteries like, where do pigeons go when they're sad? Or how do you make a duck speak Mandarin? We just don't know! Butthole! I have a theory. So these magnets stick so well, there's only one obvious solution. They use the ghosts of crabs to make them. No, 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 hear me out. I'm not a crazy person, no matter what the courts and medical professionals say. But crabs have claws, and they can hold things really well. See where I'm going? Yeah. They kill innocent crabs and harvest their souls for their magnets. It's either that or witches. Crab witches? This made my day an absolutely hilarious review of a cheap audio interface. One star is perfect for people who hate things that work. The product itself is physically solid. It's a metalish box with knobs. It's like a 14-year-old going into Hot Topic to buy a shirt from a 90s band they never listened to. And just like that 14-year-old, it's mostly garbage inside. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage was and is a great band, though. I've tried using this box on three different workstations, and at best, it's an inconsistent as a politician running for re-election, and at worst, it's as bad mayo left in a hot car. I have even sent my headset to the manufacturer to verify that my headset and cables were fine, and I even went to the guitar center, spent two hours listening to a noob play only power chords and an associate brag about his cover band just to test them on a setup that was more poorly made than this product, and everything worked fine. I even bought a new headset for testing purposes, which I promptly returned, because middle class is still below the poverty line for things luxurious, such as things that work. Oh god, if that's not relatable. I would like a refund, or a replacement, maybe something better, or at least functional, or to have my mental health visits paid for. Bottom line, I tested this thing like I was trying to cure a disease, and I probably spent orders of magnitude magnitude more in time than this product is worth. But if you enjoy minimally frustrating products, this ain't for you. One star review on Google. No, I don't own it. But I want to. Excuse me, this is an Amazon review subreddit, not Google reviews. Get out of here, imposter! Five star. Bungos, baby! I never knew I needed bungos in my life until 19 pints of lager and nine Jaeger bombs told me otherwise. Wow, that's a very persuasive concoction that you're going to be saying hello to once again in the toilet in like three hours. Was shocked when they rocked up as I have no recollection of that night in the slightest. Man, I was so drunk. But anyhow, I'm now the proud owner of bungos and considering going on tour very shortly. <laughs> the results of drunk purchasing, everyone.